Question of the day, Eric, you've convinced me to get my ham radio license. I am now a technician class operator. Why should I even bother upgrading to general? Eric, you made a video that said, so I'm just a technician. And you showed me all the things you could do as a tech. Why would I upgrade? Well, this question's coming in a lot and I address it right now because I wanted you to get your feet wet as a technician, but there's a lot of reasons why you should become a general. Now, I am a general. No, I'm not an extra, and I'm going to be an extra soon, okay? So as a technician, let's break this down for a second. So I encourage you to get your license. You have a VHF, UHF handheld. You can get on local repeaters. You can talk on FM simplex. And hey, I got a ham radio. I'm a ham radio operator. I got a technician license. That's awesome. VHF, UHF, 220, 6 meters, 10 meters, but wait, not all of 10 meters. I'll tell you that in a second. So what if you're in an area where the, re the uh, repeaters are not saturated with people? Let's say there's a bunch of repeaters out there and you don't hear anybody. Are you going to get discouraged as a ham radio operator who just studied to get his tech? Yes, you are. Because, hey, Eric, you told me if I get a license and a ham radio, I could talk to people. But what if there's no repeaters in your area? Now you got to get a hotspot. But hotspot goes over to the internet. Now you're talking D-Star, C4 FM, or DMR. Yes, that's great, and I use them all the time. But, hey, Eric, you told me I could do 6 meters and 10 meters as a technician. Absolutely. So let's say 10 meters in November is dead. Well, you have nobody to talk to because that's the only HF band that you have to use as a technician class. But let's talk about it. As a technician, you could do some CW and 28.3 megahertz to 28.5 megahertz. What if, the, what if it's dead? Now check this out. What about 29.0 to 29.2, the AM portion? What about the FM portion, including FM simplex, FM repeaters all over the world? Yes, I've talked on 10 meter repeaters through the K2QH in New York, through the one in Texas, even the one through Sweden. Can you imagine FM, like your handheld, on 10 meters talking around the world? It can't happen but you gotta be a general. Okay, so, well, Eric, you told me six meters is the magic band. Six meters is, uh, yes, I've talked all over the world on six meters, but only during the summer and that little winter solstice where you can operate that. So let's say it's February or March. Six meters open, probably not. So there goes your VHF worldwide band and your 10 meter band. So let's talk about what you can do on general. So now you have all the rest of the privileges on 10 meters, AM and FM, including FM repeaters, which by far guys, FM repeaters are just awesome. They really are. It's like having a Baofeng in your hand and talking around the world. It's really cool, right? So now as a general, you upgrade to general, you got 12, 15, 17, 20, 30, 40, 60, 75, 80 and 160 meters as a general. Now again, I'm on a general. I can talk about all those bands. Now there's an extra portion. We're not going to talk about that now, okay? But there's bands that are open during the day and bands that are open during the night and bands that are open all year long. So check this out. What if you wanted to be on HF at night and talk to Japan or Australia between the night or the morning? Well, you're not gonna probably do it on six or 10 meters, but 40 meters is open every night and 20 meters is open every day. 30 meters is open for digital and CW every day since I've been an operator. You can always find contacts, whether it be FT8, PSK, JS8 call, or CW on 30 meters, but you gotta be a general. What about what about all that DX that happens on 17 meters? Well, if you watch my channel, I've been on 17 meters every day while mobile, okay? And I talk to Canada, Mexico, Africa, uh, very rarely New Zealand while I'm mobile with a three and a half foot antenna, the tar, little Tar Heel HP on my vehicle, and I could talk to New Zealand on 17 meters, but you gotta be a general, okay? now. What about if you go to get your tech license 
okay? And you think you've studied for tech in general, but you just want to take the tech. What's the first thing they're going to ask you? When you get done with that test, hey, do you want to attempt the general? You could do it right there on the spot. Now, let me tell you, now that I've given you some reasons on why you should upgrade general to answer these questions of people that have been inundating me on email is what should I do? Well, okay. Ham radio prep. Okay. Ham radio prep. You've seen it in my videos. Okay. Ham radio prep is coming out with a new question pool for all the questions to study starting July 1st for 2023 to 2027. What does that mean? If you're studying out of a book that you've had for three years, it's probably going to be expired because the FCC constantly changes the question pool. If you're watching another YouTuber that's making videos and says, watch me, I will help you get a ham radio license. To debunk that myth, well, unless they make videos, every time the FCC issues a new question pool, you're not studying for the right answers. And it takes hours upon hours of watching videos to learn to study for your license. Ham radio prep makes it very easy where you can use interactive brain games and you could use website. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it's very simple. Check this out. If you go to the website and you subscribe to the course and you use the code Eric 20, okay, you save 20% right away on whatever you buy, any course you buy. Now you go into ham radio prep and there is questions. They start with different categories of electrical principles and antenna theory and you know, all kinds of information. But when you choose and you go through questions, you will see when you choose the right question or when you choose the wrong question. And if you choose the wrong question, it will tell you what the answer is and why you missed the question. But it makes it so very easy with interactive videos that you can watch and understand what you're studying for. Okay. If you're studying, you're not memorizing answers out of a book. That was the one person that said to me years ago, Eric, I don't know what you, I said, let's get on simplex two meters. He said, I don't know what this simplex means. I just, you're talking Japanese. I just studied the answers out of a book. Don't be that guy. Ham radio prep, you can do brain games, interactive courses that show you, okay, a diode, a diode goes here, a capacitor, a capacitor stores an electrical charge. A diode only keeps one way, uh, electrons flowing in one way. It makes it very easy for you to understand what you're studying for, not just memorizing out of a book, okay? So first off, ham radio prep makes it very, very easy. Number two, Use the code Eric20, save 20% on any course you buy. So thank you to Ham Radio Prep for showing my viewers that you could use a code and save it and make it even easier. And if you want to be like Pixie, you remember Pixie? Pixie decided to get her tech, general, and extra within a week and a half using what Pixie? Ham radio prep. Oh my! Fast. I took <laughs> test after test after test on every section, and I knew because I was passing all of those that I would pass this, and so I had some confidence, and I was very happy. That's right. Ham radio prep. She made it so fast. She even blew me away. Okay. She's on the air now. She's at all the field day events. She's at all the, the, the nets in the morning on her FTDX 101 Yesu. But if you buy a Yesu FTDX 101 and you can't talk on anything but 10 meters, it's kind of a waste. So upgrading to general will make it so much more fruitful to make all those contacts around the world. When, when it's night, you get on these bands. When it's day, you get on these bands and you can learn during the studying on ham radio prep on what happens day and night about the atmospheric conditions, about the different layers of the atmosphere, about all kinds of electrical principles and theories you can use and learn more about why we do this on ham radio. So visit hamradioprep.com, use the code Eric 20, save 20% on any course that you buy upon checkout. And that's for the many viewers that have asked the question, Eric, you told me to get a hand license. 
I'm totally satisfied with a handheld. Why should I upgrade a general? Well, this is why. Take care, everyone. 7-3.